Hi everyone, I'm Mike Hartley, Interim Police Chief of the Bloomington Police Department. I want to thank the community for sending in your questions regarding the operations and different programs that we are doing at the Bloomington Police Department every day. This week, we're going to allow other staff members to answer questions about the jobs that they have within the police department. People that make swatting calls, it's an intentional act where they are oftentimes using technology to make it appear that they're making an emergency 911 call to somebody's address. They go as far as at times to be able to replicate the person's name and address and they report something very dire is taking place. Somebody has been taken hostage, somebody has died or is about to die, and that the police need to respond as soon as possible to make a difference and to save lives. We have been asked how often does swatting calls occur in the city of Bloomington, and I would say less than 10 times a year. But unfortunately, every one of those calls creates circumstances that are dangerous for the residents at that address and for our police officers that are responding to what they believe could be an act of serious criminal violence. Swatting first started occurring in the United States in approximately 2008. And a lot of it um, centers around activity on social media and online gaming and other website things that take place and disputes that come out of gaming, social media, personal disputes that occur in people's lives or in their business activities. And it's a mode that some people choose to do to exact revenge on somebody or put them in a difficult and dangerous circumstance. And the people that are put into that circumstance have no idea it's being done to them. Anybody can be a victim of a swatting call and it, they can be for a variety of reasons. And so most of the time people have no idea that somebody is doing this. It might have been a minor dispute that somebody has made the decision to commit a swatting call and put them into difficult circumstances for no good reason. Oftentimes folks are unaware that the police have been called or that an emergency situation has been called into dispatch for the police to respond to. If a resident believes that they could potentially be the victim of a swatting call or one of their young adult children or teenage children might get into one of these disputes, we now have a process at the Bloomington Police Department where residents can create a 911 safety alert for their address and complete a form explaining their address and their concern at this address. One of the concerns that we will list for your address is that you think you may be the target of a swatting call. The 911 safety alert will be used for many other things for residents to flag their address and provide greater information for police, fire, and emergency medical services before they arrive at the call. For instance, if you have somebody living at the residence that's deaf or hard of hearing, has a specific medical condition, some residents have asked that have autistic children living in their home that the police and paramedics know that before arriving there. And this form would allow us to add that information to your address and that information would be provided via our 911 dispatchers while officers, fire, or paramedics are en route to your address. Thanks again for tuning in to Q&A with BPD. As always, we appreciate your questions and we will work to answer them as soon as we can in the future. Look forward to hearing from you all. Until next time, stay healthy and stay safe. <laughs>